Why is it that people think that being a doctor is the only way to financial freedom, financial whatever you call it? I was actually just talking to some doctor friends of mine who just saw the video that I put out about the Google training program. And they were very, very impressed by the fact that someone could make this kind of money without having to go to college, grad school, medical school, law school, any type of additional schooling. Well, I broke it to them that there's a lot of jobs out there that require skills that you may not find in a professional school environment. So I want to dedicate this video to those who may not be interested in going to college or grad school, but are interested in earning big money with the skills that they have and what the world needs. I want to break this down into two parts. The first is about, can you save as much money as a doctor by the time you're 50? What will your net wealth or net worth look like? And the other part is, can you have enough money if you were to compound your savings at 7%, save enough money to retire at age 50? This is what this video is about and I wanna share this finding with you. For those that are interested, make a comment below of who you think would have more net wealth at age 50. A doctor that's in the top 50% of their earnings or a developer who started 18 who are just earning, I would say, average money until they're 50 years old. Leave your comments below. Guys, if you enjoyed the video and the content that I'm putting out, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It would really help me grow this channel and continue putting good content out there for everyone to start learning about how to start small and growing your net wealth. Now, before we get into the two tracks of comparing and building wealth between a Google developer and also a doctor that is earning in their top 50 percentile, I'm going to go over some of the basic rules of this comparison. Money is being compounded at 7% for both sides. 40% of take home pay is being saved and devoted into the savings account. And the third thing is that the person that's going through the Google training track does not have any student loans because they are not going to college, no grad school. So they are starting off with zero debt. And as we go into the doctor track, we're going to go through some of the loans, payments, and also interest accrued so that it's a fair comparison. We will base this off of some of the numbers that I have from the tech industry, what the average salary would look like. And we're going to start off at 18 with the Google developer, fresh out of high school, completing his six month Google track, getting his certification and getting placed in one of the 130 companies that's working with Google at an $80,000 starting salary. At $80,000, the take home pay for this Google developer is $60,000. And at $60,000, 40% of that would be $1,867 a month that he can put towards savings. He will do this for four years until he is 22. At age 22, let's take a checkpoint what his net wealth looks like. His net wealth is $103,000. He gets a promotion and he's making 50% more. He is now an experienced developer making $120,000. At $120,000, he is able to save $2,800 a month as part of his take home. He does this for another four years. At age 26, he has a net wealth of $290,000. He gets another increase to $150,000 as a promotion. With $150,000 salary a year, he is able to save after taxes, take home $3,500 a month into this savings account. He does this for another six years as a senior experienced developer. At age 32, we take a checkpoint of how much he has in his net wealth. 
he has close to $754,000. At this time, he gets another pay increase. He is at the highest level of developers. He is making $180,000. And just to keep things simple, he works a job for the next 18 years from 32 to 50, making $180,000 and saving 40% of that money into his savings account that's accruing at 7% interest. We take a checkpoint here. At age 50, he has $4,454,000 saved. The second question is, can he retire at 50? I think the answer is yes. Hypothetically, if he gets an investment that pays him 5% interest, passive income, he's able to generate close to over $200,000 in passive income alone. And for many, you can retire at age 50. Now, we move over to the doctor track and we're gonna look at some of the numbers and situation for the doctor. If a person chooses to go to medical school, he must complete college first. As an example, $50,000 is what he carries as a student loan leaving college. He then goes to med school. Med school is $50,000 a year and it's four years. So that's another $200,000 on top of the original $50,000 in loan from college. He is in the hole for $250,000 by the time he graduates medical school at age 26. He does not have any savings at this point. He then goes and does residency. So there is a bit of interest that accrues on top of the $250,000 loan. We say that as this example, when he is doing residency, it is a four year residency training program. Some residencies are shorter in three years. Some are longer in five to six years, but we're gonna just say four years in this example. In residency, he's being paid $65,000 a year. That's not a lot of money, it's just for living expenses and he's able to pay down a little bit of his loans in the meantime. In this example, we say that he pays down about $30,000 of loans. He still has about $245,000 of student loans by the time he is done with residency. At this point, he still has zero in terms of net wealth but he gets his first job after training. He is able to make $300,000 in his first year as a doctor. After taxes on his salary of $300,000 is $210,000. He is able to save enough and pay back his loans in two years. In this example, we make it so that the doctor does not start investing until all his loans are paid back. So that takes him two years and at 32, he is ready to start investing. So at 32, his take home is $210,000, which means that he is able to devote $7,000 a month into his savings account. Again, he is saving 40% of his take home pay. As a doctor, he needs about eight years to get to the top of his field. So by age 40, we do a checkpoint of what his net wealth would look like. By saving $7,000 a month into this account, he has about $897,000 saved by the time he is 40 years old. At 40, he reaches the peak of his expertise and he gets a 50% increase in his pay. He is able to make $450,000 a year. His take home is $315,000 a year, which means 40% of that goes into savings. So he is able to put $15,000 a month into the savings account. He does this for the next 10 years. And at age 50, we take a checkpoint of how much he has accrued in his savings account. You would be surprised that he has a net wealth of $4,398,000. Get ready for this. 
it is just a little shy of what the Google developer has saved at the same age. I want to show this example for everybody out there because to many who feel that being a doctor, a lawyer, or some other professional is the only way to accrue wealth, that is not the case. In this example, both doctor and developer can easily retire by earning passive income on the four plus million dollars that they have in savings. And I just want to show our viewers that there are many, many ways to get to a solid financial future. What it does take is some discipline, some abilities to save and to stick to a plan. I hope this simple mathematical model that I've shown can urge you to make some good financial decisions and start saving for your future. And the reason that the Google developer is able to accrue over $4 million by making only half of what the doctor makes is because he is invested in the market for a longer period of time. I think you've heard me say this over and over again. It's not how you time the market, but it's how long you are in the market. So by being in the market and start saving at age 18 versus 32, the developer is able to save and build the same amount of net wealth as a doctor. I hope this video has helped you, shown you some information that you have otherwise not known. And if you found this content to be helpful, again, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below of other ideas that you would like to see. And as always, I welcome all comments and I hope you can subscribe to our channel. And with that said, I wish you happy hustling towards your dreams and I will see you next time. Take care.